Well, the Day of Reckoning is actually here among us, my brothers, my Dungeons and Dragons lovers, brothers. We finally have some gameplay for Dungeons and Dragons Dark Alliance after such a long period of time that the developers 2K Games went silent. Uh, went silent and all that we can do is like dig out be below the rocks and interviews and stuff like that to have some some stuff to talk about the video game and we actually finally get the gameplay trailer in here so in this video we're going to talk about that gameplay trailer of the that that Out all of that gameplay I'm going to deliver you the beautiful juicy every goddamn single detail that you need to know about the game everything that they promised to you prior to the release date um, so that you can expect to to know a little bit more have a more informed pur purchase I will of course be doing a review of the game once the game comes out so you're interested in that Consider subscribing and liking Mary Old James since we have a lot of that. With that being said, let's get into the matter. First and foremost, the story. Let's talk about a little bit about that. This is a follow-up after Salvatore's Crystal Shot Nobles. I've talked about that in my previous Dun Dungeons and Dragons Dark Alliance video. I'll have that in the video description. Not in the video description, in a video card at the end of the video. Uh, Salvatore uh, involvement was actually in here in 2k games he actually i have that source in that other video salvatore was involved in the project to some extent he was in talks with the people at 2k games and he said that he liked the pitch the original pitch that they had for the game that they he knew that they read the book so at least <laughs> i repeat i repeat again on the story department i can be pretty sure if we want to trust ra salvatore's word is going to be faithful and well quite quite good let's one can only hope right that being said let's talk about the things that actually interest us and why you guys are here with Mario James the gameplay which is a little bit of hard on the eyes of some people me personally at little at some extent it's quite hot on me as well because if you play the original Dungeons I Dragons well Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance back on the glorious PlayStation 2 days then you know it was this top-down action RPG with a lot of like core stuff of the DID formula it was just a classic and it was one of the greatest and best games this is a third person brawler with a loot system now from the very get-go from like from there I know some of you guys expressions but let's talk a little bit more about this because it looks promising uh, there are no microtransactions as of word of the developer once you buy the game there will be no goddamn disgusting fucking microtransactions when you get the game the game is what you are going to get so that's something beautiful to say the least now when the game comes out and we get to play each and every single character beautiful goddamn beautiful characters of the forgotten realms each one of them will have 60 moves each of them by the word of the developer there's also alternation between light and heavy attacks for combo chains as well as character skills there's a total of seven quests in the game with three different levels each one which means that there's going to be at the very least 21 different levels when we talk about the scenery and what we can see in the trailer there's not gonna be that much variation at least as, as what we can see because it's just the, the snowy mountains of this crystal shot setting so it will be interesting to see how they manage to visually keep us engaged with the game but they don't have that much to dig from and to make it like versatile. Talking about replayability value and end game content, there's six level of difficulty that you can play for each specific uh, mission. The harder the difficulty you, you play, the better gear that you will get. Oh, beautiful goddamn fashion gaming. Yeah, that's it, my boy's gonna look classy when he's beating up bodies in the game. Gear has impact and the Lord Jehovah shall deliver us. 
<laughs> the, the, the gear has impact, overall visual impact on your heroes as well as their stats for builds with some touches here and there of the DID formula character build. Not too heavy though since we have to take in consideration that this is a brawler, after all it's like not hugely purely a Dungeons I Dragons role playing game. There is a mechanic where you place a campfire to rest, this is, called, this is of course going to be uh, with a parallelism or compared at some extent to Dark Souls, you place this this bonfire or whatever you like to play to to call it this uh, campfire. You restore your your stuff, your potions, stuff like that, because there's going to be potions in the game. When you rest in here, your enemies will respawn. The longer that time that you spend without using this item to restore your stuff the better chances you get for getting good gear. So I think it's nice that they play and are like a little bit more versatile with these mechanics. Now I mentioned that the higher chances that you get good gear, but gear is also craftable as well. The combat seems to be a smashy because this is a, a smasher game. This is a brawler. It seems to be a little bit more smashy on smaller enemies when you're like doing exploration, which exploration has a huge impact as well. The people that has played the game has said that there's some puzzles around here and there and some locked places that you can like directly access and you need to explore a little bit to reach these places. I'm guessing that you'll get gear as rewards. It's nice to have this like versatility in the levels and have something to look out for. Now going back on combat, the combat is going to be a little bit more tactical when we talk about mini bosses and main bosses that have specific attacks that can stun your character and deliver massive damage on follow up attacks. It requires timing as well as your combos, like the timing of your combos as well as your dodging and being aware of your, of your stuff if you don't want to get like smashed in the face. Now there is no couch co-op. Uh, yeah, that's quite like like a bummer, dude. Because that was actually promised by 2K previously. Uh, there were some like inconvenience that they have around here and there, so it's no longer possible. There is no longer a divided screen, split screen. So when you don't have like AI companions, the question pops out. And it's like, dude, how am I going to go through all this stuff? First and foremost, 2K, since the announcement of the game have been specifically focusing and saying that the best experience that you get by playing this game, I mentioned that previously in my other video, is that by playing with friends. You will be able to play this thing on single player, but I'm guessing it's going to be mostly on lower difficulties uh, and that if you want to go higher, I don't think that's going to be possible if you want to go like to for like higher difficulties, you're going to need to play on multiplayer. This game will have quick match as well as friend invite. Uh, your characters have 20 levels if my memory serves me well so as your character progresses with levels I'm guessing you'll be able to enter higher difficulties of like the, the game but as the difficulty grows the need of having a party becomes more present so if you want to play this just for the story and single player experience it's going to be 21 levels that you are going to be able to experience solo without your friends let's talk about your friends we have Dries the goddamn beautiful sexy ass of the Orden he's a rogue in here which kind of like troubles me a little bit because he's he's always been like portrayed as a ranger in the lore and cosmology and mythology of the forgotten realms but it is what it is he looks cool with his two blades also I'm missing his companion he's, but, but Bruner King Bruner he's a somewhat of a tank I'm guessing that, well, that's what the people that have played the game uh, said. We, we have to trust them for that one. Wolfgar is a barbarian DPS and Kyle Briars a ranger with some healing abilities. Now, I'm interested in seeing how these mechanics will work out, how, like, the, the synergy for the characters will work out. Uh, it will be, like, more of independent experience where everyone do, does his stuff or, like, maybe there will be coordinated attacks. Uh, will Cater Briar will, will be able to heal your companions and act like a full-life healer 
uh, based on your builds of your gear that you get. It's a whole bunch of stuff that could potentially be amazing. Now there is a hub in a forest between missions. Your stuff can be improved in here. The quality of gear obtained in the missions can be upgraded in a risk reward gamble as well. There is no trading between players. I know that some at some extent this uh, this whole, whole thing sounds like a bummer for most of us since we most of us were expecting a top-down action RPG. I was actually expecting that as well because the original uh, credentials title that 2K game has out there in the market it's Live Lock which is a pretty damn amazing uh, game under this setting but uh, I mean it doesn't look like looks that bad I'm still quite excited to play this thing and if they manage to stay faithful to all of these things that they have promised I guess that it could potentially be amazing. The game is going to be released on June 22 for Xbox and PlayStation, both last gen and current gen platforms as well as PC and Google Stadia. Oh, no, I, I, I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> There is a lower price set for 40 euros for the standard edition and 60 for the digital deluxe. Both of them include cosmetic items, however, the deluxe edition contains a future expansion called Echoes of the Blood War. Yeah, we don't actually get the game right now and we're already talking about expansions. It is the world world we live in, guys. Well, anyways, do let me know in the comments below what you think about all of this stuff. Are you still excited about Dungeons and Dragons Dark Alliance, I still am excited. Remember, I will be having a review of the game once the game launches to tell you if they manage it to keep all the promises. All of my reviews, I try them to, to make them unbiased and just focusing on... Uh, critical analysis of the game so if you're interested in that stay soon stay tuned subscribe and yeah we talk far pg scene here with that being said i'll see you beautiful beautiful gamers got them beautiful people in the next one stay safe stay awesome i'll see you later